Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is a video for the last minute suggestions of mathematics paper and I will also be including important questions that can be asked in your board examination for IC 12th maths. So you have your exam on 20th February. So we have section A, section B, section C and section A is compulsory. It is of 65 marks. On the other hand, we have section B or section C. You can attempt any one. I would recommend uh, section B should be done by science students because it is related to engineering background and if you are giving JE examination so you can go with section B. Section C is for arts or commerce student. Of course it's easy and scoring. If you have not prepared section B, section C you can go with section, uh, section C. It's very very easy. Now I will start with um, important questions. So in relations and functions, a question that is asked every year is proving equivalence relation that is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. Um, the second question, uh, if it is uh, if the function is 1, 1, on 2 or bijective, if yes, then find its inverse, right? A codomain is equal to range is what is called a bijective function. You know it very well. Now third is inverse trigonometric functions. You have to learn all the formulas. And here the trick is like a lot of students solve it uh, by applying the formula. Another method you can do is by taking this tan inverse y on the right hand side and then taking tan on both sides using self inverse function and solve it. Also the condition matters here. So please um, be careful about it. 6 marks determinant question. The proving part is asked. I remember I could not prove it in my board examination but at the end of uh, like when I had done all the questions I tried it and I could do. So sometimes you are not able to do a question. Please not hurry or get stressed about it. Later when you complete you don't have to waste time in any question. If you are not able to do it leave it start with the next one and at the end after completing all the questions go with that then we have martin's rule um, a very important thing again to find uh, x y z its uh, values a x is equal to b and uh, x is equal to a inverse b of this form you know what is a inverse right sum of symmetric and skew symmetric like proof that matrix A equal to 1, 4, 3, 6 is the sum of this and this. Practice this question. Differentiation and integra uh, integration questions. See, if you have not done differentiation integration, you will not be able to do application of derivatives, maxima and minima, and uh, uh, the chapters like a uh, mean value theorem and so on. Please practice a lot in this part. You uh, have got only one day, but do not waste a lot of time. Give more hours to this part. Integration, again, uh, there are questions uh, which are substitution based. For that, you have to practice from previous year also. Refer to the syllabus. Like there are types uh, of uh, dx by under root of a square minus x square and so on. Maxima and minima six marker diagram based question is asked draw the diagram with the help of pencil do not make it with a pen label everything and then solve it accordingly you have to make that equation right then we have uh, LDE uh, that is the type of uh, differential equation that is asked every year it's uh, not important that this will be asked they may ask you homogeneous equation and so on you have to identify it it is based on your practice again, right? Then probability, Bayes theorem, a question uh, that is of six marks is asked and it is very, very easy. It is asked every year. Again, you have to practice that part. And in integration question, when you do the substitution question, for example, you have taken a uh, tan x equal to t. After solving it at the end, you have to again place back the value. Otherwise, one mark will be deducted if you do not write it in the terms of uh, what the question states. Probability questions like uh, taking out uh, one red ball, two black balls and so on is also asked. Talking about section C, it is um, calculus and commerce based. Uh, so all formulas must be learned by heart. 
they will give you cost function ask you um, questions based on it to find out revenue function and so on you very well know about it i think this is uh, what is important thank you for watching this video all the best for your math examination